Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! And, wait a minute. We got the wrong escape sequence music. Let's try that again. No, no, no! Cut the music! Cut the music! Start over! Ah, sweet music to my ears! We've got ten minutes to get out of Castle Karnak before it explodes! But first, let's head back down here. Use a healing pot, get back up there. Three seconds off the clock, that's okay, we're good. Now fortunately, we have auto-dash while we're going through this sequence, so you don't need uh, the dash ability or to hold down the B button, it just happens automatically. Now, you still want the thief, though, for his auto-caution ability, so you don't get any back attacks or anything like that. Now, if maybe you noticed there, uh, I also had uh, Ferris off-screen. I equipped the uh, escape ability so I can escape from some random battles. I want to have as much time towards the for the boss at the end uh, as possible. You know why, viewers. You know why. Now, if Ferris had actually killed one of those Karnaks in the front low, like she was supposed to, uh, I would have actually had Lena cast haste on Bart's there, because, well, he, he would have been able to kill one of the Karnaks and then kill one of the sorcerers in one hit. That's one of the reasons why I have uh, Bart's as a knight instead of as a mystic knight. I have Ferris steal elixirs from Gigas, then cast Demi and Bart's finish them off, because they have enough HP to warrant using Demi on them. Gigas can also cast Arrow 2 on you, but I don't want Galif to have uh, the learning ability, or because I want him to have Black as his secondary ability, and I want him to be a summoner, so that way I can develop his abilities as a summoner. Okay, random battle, get out of there. I don't want to deal with these losers. If you insist on fighting them, use Shiva. And we get a shuriken, along with that ribbon, yep, neither of which we can use right away, but soon enough, eventually. By the way, that was just another Gigas. Um, if you don't get the elixir that you try to steal from him right away, don't bother. I mean, just try it once and that's it. Don't try again. You'll, you don't have enough time. I'll be getting every chest in here, but we don't have enough time to, you know, dick around with all the enemies here. But while you're outside, you can't run into random battles, by the way, so that's kind of nice. Let's make it to this chest. Eh, these are enemies we've seen before, but I'll show a different battle formation with them, just to show how you want to uh, fight different formations, <laughs> obviously. Now, you want to take out the Gigas first. Watch out for Sorcerers, because they can cast Charm. Galif doesn't have anything better to do. Let's use a high potion. Crap. I really needed Bar Bards there to help out. There we go. Yes! Thank you, game. The game actually decided to help me out for a change. Yeah, Arrow 2 is another blue magic spell. But I don't want to learn it right now. We're going to be able to learn that soon enough. Whew, thank goodness that Toad spell didn't work. Not too accurate, I'm afraid. Not like Final Fantasy 2 or Final Fantasy 3. And we get an Elf Cape. Awesome. I'll equip that on Galaf eventually when I have more time. Right now, I do not have more time. I gotta focus on getting out of here and getting through these battles as quickly as possible. Yeah, if anyone goes below 150 HP, take some time to heal them outside of battle. And normally I don't advocate healing outside of battle because it takes too long, but in that case, you'd rather not die. You can also steal Gaia Gears from Sorceress. It's a rare steal though, so it's not really worth going after. But it's something to consider. If you got nothing better to do, steal from a Sorcerer, but usually you will. Usually you'll want Ferris to either steal from a Gigas, or kill another Karnak, or something or other. Gaia Gears are nice, you won't be able to get them for quite some time, but, well. And we get a Guardian Knife. It's similar to the uh, Elf Cape, 
in that it will it has a 25% evade rate attached to it that they don't tell you about. Now here's another nice little piece of info. If you just stand here while you're at the entrance, while that little text wrap is up there, or text bubble, whatever, text box, the timer won't go down. So I can just stand here and talk my ass off all day. But I actually want to move on with this. Yeah, we're making good time here. I was making good time. And we get the heal spell. It's essentially a Suna. Cures all status ailments, or almost all of them. And we get a Thunder Scroll from there. Good time. We've got at least two minutes. I gotta heal up f first. Alright, we've made it. Oh, not so fast. Okay, I want Ferris and Barts to go after the sergeant in the back row there. Lena really isn't going to be doing a whole lot here. Not right away, anyway. And then I want Galif to cast Shiva to take out all those Karnaks. Takes too long killing them one at a time. And that should free up Barts to be able to go after the sergeant directly. Alright, good shot. Sergeant has uh, 900 HP. I don't want to quite finish him off, because as you can see, I've made Galif into a blue mage. So that I can learn a very specific blue magic spell from him. What's with these laughs that these villains have? Do a ha ha or foo hoo hoo. I mean, what's with that? Can't you just nor do a normal laugh? Ha ha ha. Or, well, you'll see the next game. I don't want to spoil it for you viewers. Let's just say the villain has a particularly sinister laugh. And as you can see, that's the blue magic spell I want to learn, uh, Death Claw. It reduces your HP to critical, and uh, it paralyzes you. Oh, come on! Hit Galath for a change! You know, using that healing staff is wasting valuable seconds that I could be learning Death Claw for Galath. Uh, yeah, I can't afford to heal. I just have to hope that he doesn't attack uh, whoever. Yes! Okay, come on. This is doable. We've got time. Just make sure Bart doesn't die. Come on. I can make it. Oh, thank God I healed him. Yes! I made it! I got Death Claw! And Iron Claw's like, I'll get you next time, Gallif. Next time! Oh, I barely made it out of there. Yes! <laughs> you can't learn Death Claw for a long time, viewers. That's why I wanted to learn it here. It turns the Blue Mage into the ultimate boss destroyer. What about the other two? Hey! Come on! Well, I mean, I guess we get at least three new job classes, but what about those other two? They got blown away. Well, we get the Mediator job class. That'll be pretty useful. A Geomancer job class. That's also useful. And a Ninja job class. Wow, three very useful job classes. Excellent. And I managed to get all the treasure that was in the castle there. All right. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V, we'll go back to the town, the ship, and everything, see what we gotta do next. I mean, I know we gotta find the Earth Crystal, and oh, it looks like the, uh, the explosion took out the wall, so we can head to the Ancient Library. See, maybe they could tell us stuff about the crystal. Who knows? Find out next time. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.